All right, Shalom, Shalom. Want to start us saying all praise and glory due to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakar Kadash. Double honor to our apostles, elders, great Muslim. Salutations to you, hopeful elect out there, teaching the word, truth, and sincerity. I'm the brother Amar from the GMS Cleveland camp. I right, just want to uh, make a quick video. It's probably going to be an intro or like another part two or something like that, but um, I just want to get this um, regarding uh, uh, fornication. Um, which, like I said, there's there's, four, there's two fornications. There's fornications which you commit, um, the physical act, all right, and then there's um, the spiritual fornications which you commit against the Heavenly Father and Son, all right, by um, worshiping other gods, all right, and that's a well-known thing that our people do, all right, even to this very day. But uh, without further ado, this is Deuteronomy chapter uh, 12, verse 30. It says, Take heed to thyself that thou be not snared by following them. It says, After that, they be destroyed from from before thee, and that thou equip, inquire not after the gods, saying, How did these nations serve their gods? Even so will I do likewise. And see, the reason why this is so um, so much of a problem to the heavenly Father because you turn all your attention and your um, your reverencing uh, for Yahweh, and you turn it to a, a god that's not even real. You know what I mean? And the Most High has a serious problem with that, man. And you, you, you try to please that God in every way, shape, or form, man. Your heart, your, your soul, your desire is toward that image, um, or whatever that may be. And that's why the Lord has an ultimate problem with that, man. It's a graven image. It's not even real. And that was the problem with our people throughout uh, each and every uh, age, man. It's uh, idol worship, man. And that's in uh, Wisdom Psalm, the 15th chapter. But like I said, this is probably going to be an intro of part two. Uh, this is going to be the first part, you know what I mean, to a series, a little small series. But anyway, so the Lord said, when you come, you know, when you, um, you know, take, he said, take heed to thyself that thou be not snared by following them. After that, they be destroyed from before thee, and that thou inquire not after their gods, saying, how did, how did these nations serve their gods? Even so will I do likewise. Verse 31, it said, Thou shalt not do so unto the Lord thy God, for every abomination to the Lord which he hateth, it says, have they done unto their gods, for even their God, even their sons and their daughters, they have burnt in the fire to their gods, man. So they took it so far that they was worshiping these gods so much that they burnt their 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 actual children to these gods. It's not even that's not even real, man. So it, that just goes to show you the ex, the extent to which these people trusted in those those deities, man. That they actually burnt their kids, man. For these uh, deities, man, and I'm gonna jump up to verse one in Deuteronomy 12. It says, "These are the statutes and judgments which he shall observe to do in the land which the Lord Yahweh thy fathers giveth thee to possess it. All the days that ye live upon the earth, ye shall utterly destroy all the places wherein the nations which ye shall possess uh, possess serve their gods upon the high mountains and upon the hills and, uh, and under every green tree." Verse 3, and ye shall overthrow their altars and break their pillars and burn their groves with fire. And ye shall hew down the graven images of their gods and destroy the names of them out of that place. It said, ye shall not do uh, so unto the Lord your God. And the reason why the Lord said that you should destroy those images and stuff like that, throw throw down, the, um, uh, overthrow the altars and break the pillars and stuff like that and burn the groves with fire, is because the Most High already know what's in the psyche of the human mind, man. And particular with his people. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, he know what what that would ultimately lead to, man. All right, if when people see, um, you know, uh, those images, you know what I mean, of um, idols and stuff like that, uh, especially um, if it be of gold, um, the most already know what that would what that would have led to. So he 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 took it upon himself to just make it a commandment to where whatever land you're going to, you destroy the images, man. So that way, it, it you don't have that um you don't have that itch to serve that um that itch to serve those gods, man. So the Most High made it a commandment in Deuteronomy the twelfth chapter. But uh, I don't know if I got this already, but I'm gonna just get it. This is Deuteronomy. I mean, this is the letter of Jeremiah, and this is a whole letter dedicated to um idol worship, man, and how to um you know pretty much stand away from that. Letter of Jeremiah, uh, fourth verse. It says, "Now shall ye see in Babylon gods of, gods of silver and of gold and of wood, born upon soldiers, which cause the nations to fear. Beware, beware, therefore, that ye in no wise be like to strangers, neither be ye in them." It says, "When ye see the multitude before them and behind them worshiping them, but say ye in your hearts, O Lord, we must worship thee." So that's what we should do, man. When you see those gods worshiping them idols. 
and stuff like that, brother, whatever that might be, you got to say in your heart that, look, Lord, we're going to serve you no matter what. And that's what Jake tends to forget, man. They tend to forget that the Heavenly Father created them and they, they and um, they're, the Heavenly Father is the only true God, man. And they start worshiping them with idols, man. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? Without further ado, I'm just, like I said, I'm just um, ending on this. Like I said, I'm probably going to let it be a part one or a little small series. But with that, I'm going to say Shalom to Baba Ball.